Hi, my name is Pamela Michelle Stevens and I am from the United States of America. I am with Colors of Love Incorporated, a nonprofit organization that I um, founded in 2022. Um, it's to be able to make a difference and build bridges in the community from the U.S. into the region of Tanzania. Uh, my name is Rajpa David, owner operator from Battle of Safaris and Tours, incorporated with the Colors of Love. We have a uh, lot of services that through uh, American community, uh, my mother Pam, we are uh, reaching the local community around Biringa. We had like a two busy and blessing weeks that we will be we are able to do a couple of things around the Iringa community but also uh, we reach uh, various communities um, around the Iringa including taking some girls out of safari. Iringa um, secondary school located in Mufendi area of um, Tanzania, Iringa, Tanzania. We have 10 girls that we support there. Uh, speaking about the two weeks, uh, like on the second day, we had a shopping um, process which took us a couple of days. And in, yes. fact, in fact, it was like two days of shopping. Yes. Then uh, once we finished it up, we went to uh, a church, like a uh, Sunday church service, which was pretty nice, like to meet the people around. But also uh, we did something amazing that my mother is going to tell. Yes, on Sunday after service, we fed 847 people. Um, it was amazing. We were able to touch the church com um, congregation. We went over to the orphanage. We sat down and talked, and they had some needs that they needed to be met. Um, I think we've met those needs by the end of the two weeks. We promised that we were going to provide um, five 100 bags of rice, five 100 bags of beans, but we got another request while we were there um, for to exchange out um, some of the rice and beans to get the local the meat, um, the needs of the kids, and those needs were sugar, um, soap, toothpaste, toothbrush. We also promised that we were going to bring some exercise um, books. We met that need. Um, we also provided. Um, dish um, laundry detergent for the kids it's a great need in the orphanage so we are trying to meet those needs at our best that we can do then we left the orphanage then i had the pleasure of going to the disability um, community the disabled community where we fed 21 it was 21 households there um, that was awesome because these people are have disabilities in one way or another and they have no support other than going out and trying to make a living. So to be able to give those people food and, and see the smiles on people's mm -hmm. face, it kind of made a difference. That was uh, Sunday after uh, church services. Then on Monday, we drove all the way from Iringa to Mufindi, yes. where uh, we met uh, girls and teachers from Lukunga Secondary School. And we drove all the way to um, Kalenga Museum uh -huh. for the history 
of uh, Wahehe ethnic groups um, and leadership before before uh, our current government, and uh, we also made the way to Aha National Park for two days safari, of which uh, kids were really impressed. Um, they were so excited, like a uh, couple of them was even were like even uh, first time to be out out like on safari, like anyone who can see like the uh, like African uh, scenery and wildlife plus um, what we call uh, a one in a lifetime safari. So that was a good start for the girls and teachers. Then um, on the second on the second day of safari, of course, we had a very blasting morning game drive, and from there we drove all the way to Iringa Town for lunch and stuff, which was pretty nice. And I can uh, I, I could see like the impression. Then we drove to Mafinga. The third day, of course, was also impressive that we reached uh, the community of uh, Mufindi, Konga village, Luhunga in the neighborhood. Uh, we, were, we were able to, to give some groceries to a couple of big number of uh, the community, you remember? Yes. So, um, just to go back to back to what David was saying about um, the girls on the trip, it was really, it was amazing to me that these girls, some of these girls, the just the impression they gave of being out of the village, just the impression of being able to go to breakfast and to sit down and eat breakfast, just the impression of being on the safari of stopping places. They study the museum, the chief. They, they, they study these things to be able to connect where they studied in reality. It made an, a big, awesome difference. And, you know, the one thing that, that stood in, in, in my thought was that when we were coming back from, um, from Iringa to go back to Mufingi, that the girls were cursing. So that tells me that they're not in a car for that amount of period of time because a number of the girls were sick with the motion of just being in the car for that long of a period of time because the drive to the safari was approximately about three and a half to four hours. So, you know, this is a long period of time that these girls were spending in the car. And then... When we arrived back at the school at 10 o'clock at night to see all the kids outside uh, waiting, for, waiting us to come to the school, it's really amazing. I'm telling you, the one thing that I love about going into the village is the love and the appreciation that we receive um, being there. Just to, just to look at those kids and know the, the impact of we're making a difference. And that was only, um, not only kids, even teachers were yes. also impressed yes. you know, uh, to see their, their, uh, their fellow workers are coming back from safari. Yes. That was in unbelievable, you know? Yes, yes, yes. And on Wednesday, we fed 2,097 people. That means a total of 2,000. 947 people that we served. My goal when I came, when I left home was 2,000 people. So I, I'm just waiting to see what else God has in store for the next adventure. So once we speak about the colors of love is uh, touching people's lives. You know? Yes, I will say the colors of love, they, it is to touch people's life, to build communities, to make a better day for the next generation because we do not know who our next minister is going to be. We do not know who our next president is going to be. We do not know who our next headmaster is going to be. And one day we can look back and say, I had a part in that life. 
you know, and that is what Colors of Love is, is bringing the community together to make a difference, doing it for somebody that we have no clue who it is. When I walk away, all I can say is God is good. He's really awesome. Yes, he is. He's awesome. These two weeks have been truly awesome. I look forward to coming back to Tanzania. This is my first love. And hopefully one day I'll, I'll live here half of the year. You're more than welcome. You know, say Tanzania unforgettable. You make it home. Yes. Thank you.